Hi, thanks for joining in. Quick tutorial today. If you've never designed your own hotel, then let's see what you've got. You might be an excellent architect. Pick a starting point, and then we're using only those two edges on the splat. You can use them that way or upside down, same thing. We're going to draw the roof first, so we're working with short and long lines. Any shape that you draw will work. We're going to kind of work in a big circuit. We're going to loop around and eventually meet up with my starting point. So I'm going to go left, right, left, long and short. Let's go out and across, back in towards the center. And then I'm working now towards my starting point and finish that up. Cool, now we're going to draw equal length lines from that little blip, let's go down. So I'm using this edge of the splat, except where it runs into a line there, of course. And that one's going to be a bit shorter as well. But these ones that are in front are the full length. That means that um, all we have to do at the end to complete this hotel is join all the bottoms up. So I'll be copying those lines automatically when I join all the ends. So let's grab a ruler and connect all those. That one's a bit tricky, but if I copy that angle there, that works out. That's looking really good. To make the levels in your building, the floors all look even, you might want to use a ruler and a thin line bounce those around the corner. Of course, you could have a different design at the front of yours. I'm erasing this corner and I'm using in between those two little blips, um, I'm using one quarter of the ellipse and I'm rounding the front of the building. Let's fix that up. Cool. And if you want your floors in there too, you'll need to draw, remember, only between those two bumps on each mark. Great. Let's make a fancy arch. I'm using the ellipse on this side. So on that line, place a mark halfway. Use the left ellipse, center it on the mark, and draw in your arch. Now the basic structure of the building's finished, let's add some design detail. I thought a pool would be fun there. I especially like the little ladders, give it away as probably a swimming pool, plus some colour later. Now we don't want to fall off the edge, let's try and draw in a barrier. So I'm imagining a little point on each of those corners, and then I'm simply joining those up with a ruler. Let's extend the pool into a little spa area maybe. What about H4 helicopter? So there's my helipad. And I'm going to try to draw a helicopter here. I think we'll just draw a pretty simple body. And it's going to need some skids to land on. I think using the ellipse for the rotor blades works well. The tail needs to be a little bit shorter. Oh, it looks like a good helicopter. Now I'm drawing in the right and left isometric angles. And I'm using those to look like a city block. So this hotel is going to take up the whole city block. So I'm bouncing that isometric line backwards again. I'm erasing this corner of the hotel because I'm about to draw a big letter. You could draw the letter of your name on here. Let's go with a letter T. Now I'm thickening up the lines, a little line each side. And at the bottom will be isometric. Once you've outlined your letter, then on the left isometric angle from all of these corners, we're just going to pop a line back. All the same length. And then join them up. Awesome. Now, what else can we add on top? How about some day beds beside the pool? And um, a little a tennis wall to hit the ball against. And behind the tennis wall, what could we do? How about a garden? What would you design on the top of your hotel? You can create anything from your imagination. What about uh, an amusement center, a um, push bike racing circuit, um, go-karts, goodness knows. How about a rooftop open air concert area for teenagers to enjoy um, their favorite bands? Uh, let's see, don't ask the adults because the adults will say something boring like a cooling tower for the air conditioning and on top of that a communications tower to hold all the aerials and things like that. 
Your drawing is going to pop if you use some thinner and thicker lines. So the thickest line is right around the outside called the cutting line. Uh, so I'm neatly working my way all the way around. Now there's also another place that you have a cutting line and that is if an object is overlapping like the T there has air behind it, has a distance before it gets to the building. So it gets its own cutting line. Same with these two edges of the pool because they're overlapping in front of the water. Now that you know how to draw one hotel, you have the skills to be able to draw hundreds of different designs. Hopefully you'll be part of the team developing our smart cities of the future. If you're able to, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I will see you for some more drawing next time. Thanks everyone, I'm Glenn, bye for now.